A penalty kick goal into the top left corner wasn't enough Saturday afternoon as the Marquette Golden Eagles played the Georgetown Hoyas to a 1-1 draw. An almost eventless first half showed Georgetown dominating possession on the pitch. The Hoyas were the first to get on the board in the 14th minute when P.J. Kosher scored in the box off a corner kick play. Hoya keeper J.T. Marcinkowski kept Georgetown ahead through the first stanza by being aggressive in the box and picking up set pieces. Late in the half, Marquette had a scare when Captain John Pottis was injured on a set piece. We could have gone downhill because of that, you know, but again, uh, uh, like I said, we showed a lot of character. We showed that we can compete and we showed a lot of heart today. I'm really proud of the guys. Marquette finally got their shot in the second half when Luca Purple was fouled in the box, leading to his sixth goal of the season. This one off a penalty kick. Marquette was much more aggressive in the second, but wasn't able to capitalize on their chances. This game may not have looked that pretty, you know, both teams are kind of searching for something, but I still think they're a very good team in our history against Georgetown, and, you know, they've almost been like their, our nemesis, but uh, um, a point's a point, and, um, you know, when, when we break it down, we'll see some chances where we might have been able to win the game. The two overtime frames saw plenty of scoring opportunities from both teams, but when all was said and done, Marquette and Georgetown ended deadlocked one to one. Again, we've got to show character, we've got to show heart, and that's how you get, that's how you get um, a win in the Big East. You know, uh, it's about, all about the little things in the Big East. The Golden Eagles continue Big East play when they travel to Omaha to take on the Creighton Blue Jays next Saturday. From Valley Fields, I'm Kellen Buddy, MUTV Sports.